My dearest listener, if you were selected to receive this video today, it means that your guardian angels have a very important message for you. A soulmate from another life is making their way back to you. Your key is to remember your lessons. The angels say, when we speak of past, present and future lives, they're not always tangible or linear. We are multidimensional creatures with many lifetimes and multiple soulmates. So you can have a strong and unbreakable connection with someone in this life and not necessarily know them in others. The same is true in reverse. You can have a powerful bond with someone in other lives and not share anything lasting in this one. You may not even meet a past life lover or marriage partner in this life. I repeat, a soulmate from another life is making their way back to you. Your key is to remember your lessons. Love is a tricky thing, which all humans want and desire. The heart wants what it wants. We crave intimacy, sexual union, physical touch, companionship, and emotional, psychological, and spiritual bonding on a deep level. We are all creatures of pleasure and desire, no matter how spiritually enlightened or evolved we become. Even you can't deny your need for love and companionship, dear one. Many people on the spiritual path isolate and put themselves into bubbles of solitude for significant periods and chapters. Most spiritual people become lone wolves at some point or many. This message from the heavens today is about how you've been choosing self-care and your self-evolution over love. Professional and spiritual pathways have replaced deeper bonding. You've become empowered and victorious beyond belief and further in many life areas. The angels have sensed that you are either a sports person, psychic, healer, business owner, manager, a successful boss with a side hustle, psychologically adept, or skilled in some amazing gift. But what about your love life? In the pursuit of happiness and longevity, you've overlooked core emotions, sexual longings and desires too. Independence has become the primary driving force while romance and sensuality have been displaced. Graceful and eloquent like a swan, your inner beauty needs a chance to shine. So why have you been putting off your deeper needs for so long? A soulmate wants you back, ways to reconcile, or wants to start a new journey never gotten around to. It's such a shame for the angels to see two beautiful souls with so much love and pure intentions alternate between extreme polarities. You do this because neither of you can make a decision. There are issues of mistrust and a lack of faith. The bond you share is ancient, timeless and deep. It weaves you together in an ethereal cord of fate. In Chinese mythology, it is believed some rare souls have the red string of fate as part of their soul's destiny. This is an Eastern belief regarding the inescapable destiny some souls share, and it's also known as the red string of marriage. Have you ever had an astral or ethereal vision of a red string connecting you to a soulmate? Have you had dreams of you being deeply in love with someone from a past life or a future one? Have you known instinctively and without a shadow of a doubt that you've been married to someone with whom you've shared a real life loving marriage bond? Destiny is on your side. A connection is so strong, moreover timeless, that no evil act or horrible will of another can stop it from manifesting. There may be some people who want to prevent this sacred union. There may be some dark forces wanting to stop such a holy and divine sacred matrimony. Let me tell you, nothing can prevent God's will. 
If it is your fate to unite with a soulmate, nothing can stop it from aligning. This soulmate specifically has a marriage connection to you, either in this life, a past one, or's future one. Your heart beats as one, but this doesn't mean you are specifically meant to unite sexually in this life. Some connections are here to show us deeper parts of ourselves. If this person is more yin, gentle, magnetic, feminine, and empathic, they were or will be sent to you to learn how to integrate these qualities. If you are more yang, direct, forceful, electric, masculine, and confident or expressive, you are here to teach them how to be these things. The Divine is giving you a gift. First, you must heal your wounds. You must make peace with the darker parts of yourself or opposites you don't want to accept. For example, if you take pride in being direct, confident, assertive, bold, courageous, sharp-minded, witty, innovative, and charismatic, you must embrace the softer parts of you. If you find solace in being empathic, sensitive, imaginative, gentle, subconsciously attuned, cooperative, diplomatic, and adaptable, you must embrace the bolder parts. We all have different aspects of our personalities. Not everyone is here to stomp over our light. Some people are here to guide us, reminding us that we've gotten too used to our strengths. We become comfortable in the set of gifts and characteristics that make us shine. Yet, there are many other dimensions and vibrations to tune into. This soulmate being sent to you from the Divine is a perfect manifestation of what's missing in your life. They may compliment you or they may be the exact opposite. They may come into your life already healed, with all their shadows integrated, as well as their wounds healed. They may come into your life slightly broken, so you can both heal your wounds together. This soulmate is not here to emphasize trauma bonding or remind you of your shadows. They're here so you can grow and evolve together in higher love. There's a higher law. There are higher energetic and spiritual values governing our physical universe. This person is someone who will bring love and drama, healing and no demons and commitment and no frivolity. If any of the latter do arise, you will work through them together patiently and with mindfulness. You will become the best version of yourself with this soulmate as they sincerely have your best interests at heart. This soulmate that the Divine has sent you wants something real. They want a soul deep passionate love that makes their mind, heart and body tingle. They crave the excitement, companionship, and exhilarating passion and romance just as you do. The Divine will not send you someone unfaithful or deceptive, so make sure you keep up your spiritual practices. If you have an amethyst or lapis lazuli crystal, cleanse it in cold water and charge it in sunlight. Then, Place it under or next to your pillow. Set some intentions. Higher wisdom is available in abundance. Your dreams will show you insight into this soulmate bond. However, your channel, aka physical body, needs to be pure. Consider a fast or fruit detox. I want to end with a prayer for you. Lord, we lift up the one who has received this message, knowing that they are on a unique and divine journey. We pray for them to remember the valuable lessons they've learned and to open their heart to the love and companionship that awaits. May their inner beauty shine and may they find the strength to embrace all aspects of themselves. Bless their connection with a soulmate and may it be filled with authenticity, passion, and a commitment to mutual growth. 
Amen. Take a moment to allow all these words to resonate with your spirit. Remember, you are loved and protected by the universe. Type 1212 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. The universe sees it as an act of kindness that fuels the cycle of good karma. You'll be spreading positivity and receiving the universe's blessings in return. Let's uplift each other and create waves of good energy together. Did you know there's a possible image of your real soulmate that you can look at right now? It might be someone you know or someone that you haven't met. It's amazing how accurate these have been. You have to see the photo to see what I mean. Click the link in the description to get your soulmate sketch. An important message is waiting for you in the next video. Will you hear it?